One thing I noticed that uh, in section two, which is like the classification and diagnosis of diabetes, um, one thing that was good is they kind of gave more discussion on um, what's referred to as latent autoimmune diabetes in adults or LADA. Um, this is something that I personally didn't like put much thought into like before, um, but now working at my current job at, at Fetter, um, we've ha- I have seen probably. 10 to 20 patients who for years have been listed as a type two, uh, because they develop diabetes much later in life. And so it was just kind of, and they're overweight. They fit the like, you know, phenotypic description of like a type two diabetic, so to speak. Um, but for whatever reason, they're not, their, their blood sugar is just not getting controlled. They meet with the dietitian They're you know, they'll be on all the right meds and their, their A1C is still high. So we'll, we'll get a C peptide on those patients and it comes back like super, super low. So they're not even, their bodies aren't even producing insulin anymore. So we ha- would have to treat them like a type one and they've been basically not being treated correctly that whole time. Right. So that's something that I, I don't know how often, you know, people are running into this, like in your clinics and whatnot, but that is something that a hundred percent you should at least be on the lookout for. Yeah.